Hey Ron, we are just outside of London with a quick hardware news recap for the last few days. There's two graphics card news items with water blocks basically and then a Micron news item, 3D VNAND. And that's pretty interesting stuff. Before getting to that, this coverage is brought to you by IY Power and the new Element Gaming PC with LED lighting, underglow, and a large tempered glass full window. So the first news item is Zotac's GTX 1080 Arctic Storm. And this is a full coverage water block on a GTX 1080, as one would expect. It includes the card and the water block. You connect it to an open loop system that you've already got in your computer. And it has all the standard fittings, so you should be able to connect it with pretty much any open loop system on the market right now. There's support for inner diameter tubing up to 10 millimeters and then it's standard G quarter inch threaded fittings for the, the actual connections. The card's got a back plate. I'm not clear right now if that's aluminum or another material. Copper for the cold plate base plate and again it's full coverage water block and we don't have a price on it right now but it is called the Zotac GTX 1080 Arctic Storm and connects to open loop systems. Also on the video card, front Aqua computer now has a Titan X water block. This is interesting for a few reasons that you'll see probably in the next week or so from us. Their new product, Aqua Computer's product, is a Titan X water block. You buy the block itself, not the card. You put it on your card if you already own the $1,200 solution. And it's another open loop cooler. So you plug it into your open liquid loop, open loop liquid solution, and it pumps through. It's not like an all-in-one like you see with the hybrid cards or the Seahawk. The interesting thing with this Aqua Computer one is it uses 10 millimeter thick copper. It's electrolyte copper and thermal compound applies to the VRAM as well as the GPU die as usual. So it's got full coverage of the VRAM and the GPU. Keeps everything pretty cool. You don't need the hybrid solution where you have a VRM blower fan. And there are two main variants of this solution. There's the copper one for 100 euros, don't have USD just yet, and a nickel plated one for 115. You can also buy a passive backplate, which really is just a backplate as always, for 25 euros extra. It's a CNC machine block, and it's a jet plate with, again, uh, complete coverage of the card. And the last news item for today is Micron's new 3D VNAND or NAND for mobile devices. So you've all heard of 3D NAND or VNAND as some companies call it. Samsung, of course, one of the most prolific and the uh, probably the originator, I think, of that technology on the consumer market. You've heard of that for SSDs. This is the same idea, but for mobile devices. Micron's new 3D NAND goes up to 32 gigabytes, making it among the largest storage solutions on the market, for mobile especially. It's stacked cells vertically, as with any VNAND, and it's also the smallest die on the market at 60 millimeters squared, making it a good fit for the mobile phone market that it's targeting. And this is Micron's attempt to diversify their market holdings and get away from just systems, computers, because obviously it is a shrinking market on consumer. Uh, enthusiast is growing to our community's defense, but shrinking certainly in consumers. So they're trying to diversify into mobile. Makes sense. Intel has tried it in the past and has had mixed results. And uh, Micron's NAND will be interesting to see sort of camera performance and other high data throughput performance applications on mobile devices because the, the NAND is just, it's going to be faster. It's dense at 32 gigabytes and we'll see how that goes. It's not, I don't know if it'll come to consumer at all for Micron, but Samsung has some new 64 layer stacked NAND as well. We'll talk about that in the future. So that's all for this quick news recap for the week or for the last few days anyway. As always, Patreon link in the post below video if you want to help us out directly. Link in the description below for more information if you want to subscribe. I'll see you all next time.